why do I have that up? <laughs> and welcome back everyone to another Marvel Daily Snap video. I'm Gem Machine Esquire. Well, guys, thank you so much for all of the likes and subscribes and comments. I really do appreciate it. You guys have been killing it as always. The channel continues to grow. We're up to 62 subs. Of course, if we get to 100, I told y'all that we would do a, a fan video where I just play decks uh, recommended by you guys. So that is the game plan. So keep it up. We are, what is it, 38 away? 38 subs away. In our last video, we were watching our boy, Dr. Learn to Math. If you didn't check out that video and him playing two card games at once with Agatha, please go check out that video. It was great. And go check out Dr. Learn to Math. For today, we're being mean because more goth. No, I'm sorry. That's Lord of the Rings. More rag is the new feature location, which says you cannot play here with the first card you play every turn, right? So it's not, it's not like um, the previous location where only the first card you played ever died there. This is every turn you have to play something somewhere else before here. So I thought we'd play a deck that was kind of mean with this location. Now it only appears in 40% of the uh, game, so it won't appear every time. So this deck um, should do well outside of that. It is a control-based deck. We have the hood in there. Um, the idea of the hood is to have a decent one drop so we can play into uh, Morag if we need to, especially with the demon. Right. Uh, second of all, we throw Viper, we clog their side of the board. And that's sort of the idea of this deck, is we want to give them as many cards as possible without using Debris or Hobgoblin. I felt like those were a little clunky, and by then we we kind of wanted it to be over by then, to be honest. Uh, less so with Debris, but with Morag. I mean, with Hobgoblin. Uh, we have Armor, because we want to protect Aratuma. We also don't want them getting Destructions off. If they're playing a Destruction deck, and we stop it in one location... You can't do it in Morag because you don't have the energy to play there with most destruction decks, so therefore they'll only have one lane to play in, which is huge. Uh, Viper again to throw the hood over. It's also just a fairly good card. Green Goblin to clog their board. Storm to take out another one of the locations, so now they only have one location to play in, and when they go to play in that one, it gets Spider-Man. So if we can Storm one location, Spider-Man the other, they no longer can play. The same is true with Pro Pro Professor X. We can actually stop our opponents from playing at all on turn four and turn five kind of huge uh if we can't do that we have dr doom to go wide if they are able to put some big cards in morag we have magneto to pull them back out which could be a win condition of course vision can fly over there it doesn't count as being played in there uh jessica jones for the storm combination and that is it now this probably could be optimized a little bit i kind of just came up with this on the top of my head and i was like you know what or infinite doesn't really matter if we lose so it's fun to try some new things out so we're going to be trying this is just mean deck um there are meaner decks out there but i think particularly with morag this could be pretty mean so let's switch over here so we can get our deck list and stuff going on and i think we do and so let's get in and thank you guys for the support with the likes and comments and subscription stuff you guys really have been killing it so please continue to do that you guys are amazing hopefully this is game one thank you thank you thank you Oh, and keep in mind that tournament. We'll discuss it more at the end of the video. And we can't do anything, and Subterranea is not great for us. On reveal, do we have... The hood's not bad. It does block our uh, green goblin. That's interesting. Superflow will allow us to play... Jessica Jones here. Opponent snapped. Wow. Fast snap. Very, very fast snap. What could this be? Who reveals first? I think it's a, a, uh, what do you call it? Galactus? So we're gonna send over the Green Goblin. Oh, it's not. That is so fine, though, it's ridiculous. We're gonna hit that. And we are going to play... Yeah. 
So let's lock that down and we'll play. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, wow. He actually does play there, huh? So, can I push power over there is the question. Not with that, I can't. If I do... Is there any combination that wins this? If I do that... Pulls a wave over. That's a tie. Yeah, that's right. Kind of interesting, actually. Why does he get two of them? Oh, because it's uh, Karmatage. Kind of cool. Okay. Good for you, Rockman. Dang. We just got outplayed there. And that's okay. Subterranea really hurt us. Prizer? A bit of a scientist himself. Shame. That was a shame. <sighs> we probably storm that location. Oh, wait. I can't do that, can I? Okay, so I'm going to armor me. Oh, wait. No, I can't play. I'm going to armor mid, and then I'm going to storm it. Then we're going to Atuma. Wind, aid my hand. Okay. Will Atuma here? That's going to be pretty tough to beat. This deck does run Doctor Doom. That's kind of crazy to me, but... That was the best draw I could have in the game. So we snap it up. I don't know what he could possibly play here. He could play Infinite here, actually, because... Mm -hmm. So we tie here. I'm going to win here and here. He can't play. He has nowhere to play. He has to just hit enter or leave. That's why this deck is mean. Now, this wasn't Morag, but Sanctum Sanctorum fills the same kind of thing. He's really roping it. He's trying to figure out if there's anything he can do, but he cannot play a card. The only thing he can do is let Sunspot buff up. Sunspot will get six. But that's not enough. Victory. So he leaves. And just like that, not a bad win. We'll try to get one more game for you guys. <laughs> this deck is fun, though. Well, actually, is that two or three games? That might be three. Yeah, we'll get a fourth game. Hopefully this is it. Hun Lun. Um, we've got to be careful with Magneto for that. We'll play our hood as a tempo card. So this is either Patriot or it's um It's either Patriot oh Okay. So it is destruction. We're gonna throw them a hood. Um, and I'm okay doing this. Oh, it's a Killmonger. Dang. It's still fine, though, quite frankly. I'm not too worried about that.
So the reason I'm doing that is now he has to play here. And if he plays a 3 or a 4, I can just Magneto it away. Weird card to be running in this deck. I've never seen that. He snaps. He could play something like She-Hulk. Spider-Man here. Oh, he just straight up plays death. Interesting. So we beat death. The question is, does he play leader? If he plays leader, can we win? This actually will bring the green goblin over too. What will it bring over of mine? Nothing. So let's say he leaders here. Do I win? Let's find out. Yep, I think I win this. Because mine... Yep, look at that play! Oh, that is just... Mm, what a huge brain I have, chat. <laughs> so it was always going to be a leader, right? So my math was, if it's here... Do I win? Which gives him 9, it gives me 13, so my, my math was yes. So that was just such a sweet play. That Atuma is one of the greatest counters I know against leader. For that reason. is If you play it in a lane where you know that his will be destroyed, it's just a 10 point to you. Awesome play, we'll get one more game for you guys. Oh, that was, I love beating leader, man. Fuck that card. <laughs> Bombax. Let's see. Ooh, it is Morag, so it's another Morag game, which is really good. We, we did want to get at least two Morag games, and this will be our second. And I think we do play... This could be bad if they have our Professor X. But we get an Iron Man. An Iron Man's kind of interesting, so we're going to play our Armor mid. I think he's going to play over here. Hi, I want to offer a promotion to your channel. Viewers, but no thank you. So he's probably thinking about playing here, which is fine for me. My goal is to get rid of Daily Bugle. I'm then probably Iron Manning here, honestly. So it's going to be Storm. Ooh, interesting. Wind aid my hand. We're gonna play Green Goblin. Ooh. What is this deck? Is it Cerebro 3? That doesn't win it, though. If I can stop them from playing here, right? It's definitely a Cerebro 3 deck. Huh. 
trying to think. I could bring that over. I don't know how that helps me. Okay. Friendly neighborhood Spider -Man here. So he actually can't play anymore. That's pretty good for me. Um. So he, <laughs> he just retreats. So listen, he didn't know this, but he couldn't win it. All right, he was gonna win, right? I had no way of playing in both locations, right? I I need a. Oh, I did actually. I could have played a uh, Viper here. No, Viper here loses, so I have to play Jessica Jones here, Viper here, so that means it's a tie here. Do I win by enough here? Four is actually the most so it gets double, so I would win. Okay, so it would have been close, but I would have won, but this is the idea of this deck, knowing that, like, there's a lot of locations out here, like Morag, which stop people from playing, like, think about Sanctum Sanctorum, things like that, too, where this is a pretty powerful deck. There are better variations of it, it's just the one I thought of, but the idea, like, if you control enough of the locations... You're the only one who can uh, play at that point. So that was pretty good. I, listen, I had fun. I hope you had fun. If you did, please like and subscribe and comment below. It really does help me out with the channel. It spreads it around YouTube so more people do see this Marvel Snap content. Thank you, Bombax, for a great game. And as I promised you, I wanted to talk about the tournament. As I said yesterday in my video, and I'll be saying it um, for a couple of videos, we are going to be hosting three tournaments, a Pool 1, Pool 2, and Pool 3 tournament. No Pool 4 or 5 cards will be allowed. That's no Galactus abusers out there. And I'm probably going to ban Leader in his current form, too, just so you know. But $25 winner for the Pool 1 tournament, $50 for the Pool 2 tournament, and $100 for the Pool 3 winner. Um, we will be casting the game, so you have to be okay streaming the game on, like, Discord or something like that. We'll figure that part out uh, so that I can cast it. I will not be participating, uh, and it is a free-to-play tournament. Uh, we are expecting the friendly matches to start in January. So that is when this will become a little more official. But after that, um, and the format will be in the way of those friendly, so we'll learn more about that when it comes out. We do have a Zabu and a few other decks planned for this coming week. When that comes out, it should come out next week, actually, for Zabu. We should have a few uh, fan decks for this week. And that should be about it. So, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, like and subscribe and comment all the things that YouTubers ask for that I'm sick of asking for today. I hope you all have a great day. Keep on snapping.